It's Thursday today, and today is fantastic because tomorrow is Halloween. Woo! week at Lion and Lamb, we're having a trick-or-treat week, where we put various Twilight characters into costumes. Now, since I have a Mac, and the Mac company is totally sucky when it comes to free video, blah, 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 free picture editing software, it, I don't have anything. Except for Pixelmator, but that doesn't really do anything. It just kind of sits there. So, I couldn't do pictures. So, I can't show you what I mean. I had to explain it. And I do really bad explanations. I didn't do any of the Cullens or the Werewolves. I did the greatest set of Vampire Mafia people ever. The Volteri. Now... About the Volturi. Push me and then just touch me till I can get my status. Yo. Oh, hello, Jane. No, I didn't see it yet. Yo, know, you fangirl squealing is really getting on my nerves. Yes, I know you are now obsessed with Edward Cullen, but that does not mean you need to call me every single time you see his name mentioned. What do you mean you only like him because he killed Victoria's mate? What's going on between you and Victoria now? She totally hung up on me. She was saying something about seeing a TV spot... That had Rob in it, and how Rob looked a lot like Edward did. And then there was something about her and Victoria, and about how Victoria offended the Volturi after she ate Miss Monday. So, hopefully, I will not be eaten by anybody. So, costumes. Costumes. So I thought about this a bit, and I say Arrow, since he is strange and pervy and stuff like that, he is gonna go as a criminal. You know, he's gonna like shave his head, get rid of that really ugly long hair, and and get like a striped tattered jacket pant thing, and he's gonna go as a prisoner. Simply because he's Arrow. And Marcus. What will Marcus dress up as? Um, Marcus. He will dress up as a ghost. You know, just put like a big sheet over his head. Just walk around like that. Because I get the perception to New Moon that he doesn't really like people. Anybody else get that vibe? And Caius? Caius I had some trouble on because I was kind of like, oh, who would Caius dress up, blah, dress up as? And I said he would dress up as the Grim Reaper. Because for some reason I always correlate Caius and the Grim Reaper. It just reminds me of that. Every single time they mention Caius, I'm like, oh, Grim Reaper! That we didn't really kill anybody. Important. Yeah. So, Jane and Alec, since they are twins, will dress up as Thing 1 and Thing 2. <laughs> thing 1 and Thing 2. Uh, thing 1 and Thing 2, simply because I think Alec... Alec like Dr. Seuss, and he'd be like, Jane, me and you should totally dress up as 
thing one and thing two. And then Jane would be all like, do I really have to, Alec? But Jane, you have to. I love Dr. Seuss. Also, I can make you feel totally, totally numb. And Heidi. Aw, oh, Heidi. I think that's her name. The slutty vampire. The one who was slightly sluttier than Rosalie, if that's even possible. She's gonna dress up as, like, one of those French maids and just walk around. You know, just walk around the Volturi castle and just looking after, like, oh my god, she's so hot, but really she's just a slut. And, and also another thing, do you think this hair color would be close to Heidi's hair? So that's basically all Volturi people and how they would dress up. I know this is a totally lame video because I was really busy this week. Because I have, like, a bunch of stuff for American history to do. Ugh. I really should be working on it now because it's due November 12th. And I have, like, this much sheets and three projects to do. All about the American Revolution. whoop de do. So, anyway, if you didn't hear me talking about Jane, about the, um, new TV spots that came out. Oh my god, six of them? I'm just waiting until like 20 TV spots. And yes, I did watch all six. I'm actually kind of sick of people saying, um, that, oh my god, they could ruin the whole movie for us. But they haven't shown really any important scenes yet. They haven't, they've barely shown anything of the meadow. Uh, a little, little snippet to Poor Angelus. And we got, like, the ballet, a three-minute ballet scene. But they hadn't really shown the hospital, the, like, the beginning part. So, and no matter how much they show us, there is... No, nothing compares to seeing the movie, like, right on the big screen. Nothing compares to it. Trust me. I remember back when I used to be a Harry Potter fan. Those were the dark days. Um, that I saw, like, every single thing they had for the third Harry Potter movie. Every single snippet, every single second I could find. But nothing compared to seeing the real thing. But once I became a Twilight fan, it's been all Twilight. Basically, Twilight, 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 Twilight. I've mostly forgotten about Harry Potter. I'm rereading the third book, and it's boring me. And they used to never bore me. And, yeah. You can say I'm obsessed. Oh, yes, and just a quick little thing. I know this video is getting really long. If you haven't yet... And you don't call yourself a Twilight fan if you have it. Go check out the new scene with Bella and her theories. If you haven't checked it out, you're not a real Twilight fan. Alright? Bye-bye. I went walking with my mama one day When she warned me what people say Live your life until love is found